Thank you, Joao. So, uh, oh, what happened with this? Oh, okay. So this is a joint, joint work with uh, Begonia Barrios, uh, which will appear in Calculus of Variation and PDE, and other related results that I will mention. Uh, but the, the key of the talk is this, this, this paper. And some other uh, thing in progress. So, I will start with the uh, local the non equation and so on, and then uh, talk about the UV result and, and existing results. Let's start with the classical well known result, which is uh, the, the non linear equation uh, with power nonlinearity, uh, sometimes called Elman Lane equation. So, so the classical result by Gideas and Sprague is that non-existence for P subcritical, where subcritical is this exponent here, uh, n plus two over n minus two. Uh, and then there is, this is the Uvil, known as Uvil type theorem, so non-existent result. And then is the classification result when if you are in the critical exponent, um, then you have the bubbles solution it, and up to the scaling is the unique solution of that problem. So this is uh, uh, by now a standard things. Uh, so nat natural question is what happens if you put a white, just say a power nonlinearity. Uh, uh, so uh, just mention that in math, this problem, this classical problem, the bubble problem, and the, the, the equation is related with solve type inequality, uh, mass transport, Yamabe uh, problem, and concentration phenomena. The bubble is to contract solution, Yamabe problem is related to the so that's the math application of the problems it's connected with many problems so but i will just mention that what's the other kind of of Uville type theorem is uh, the classical is for super solution which is studied by dust so if the dimension is three don't have uh, even super solution so this inequality, right? Uh, so in RN. So this, this, notice that this exponent is la less than the critical one, which is a plus two there. So this is uh, the other, so as sometimes called a serine exponent, uh, Gida's exponent, uh, uh, and other names. But let's say Gida's for this talk, which is related to that result. So, uh, and this can be extended with whites very easily and the, the, the exponent change a little bit, but, but it's really, really natural. I will talk now in other expectation in other direction, which is a Gidas type result for, let's say, uh, I, I put Caffarelli Silvestre type extremal operator, fractional extremal operator. So you have a, a fractional operator of all that alpha where you can construct a fundamental solution, which means a power function, which makes the operator zero. A fundamental solution, which N plays the role of the dimension, you can, and the dimension is bigger than two, let's say, but this is changed by two alpha. So if you have this assumption, then if you get really did us result so if p is less than this number then you have uh, no there is no uh, uh, super solution and the, the the critical exponent of this is optimal uh, this sometimes means that this exponent uh, for super solution is very stable uh, that's my impression. Uh, you change uh, the operator, even you change the nonlinearity, you can change the nonlinearity, it's, it's very stable. That's my impression. But the, 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 the criti really critical exponent, the other one, I want to show that the other one, the really critical, it's not that stable. 
in, in many sense, in two senses actually, and then talk about the first uh, little uh, thing that I want to mention. Ah, yes, an example before before. Uh, uh, so the, the, the what they say here minus fractional alpha fractional is minus minus the the, the, the fractional Laplace. Yes, so so the results reads like this for the fractional Laplace. Really. So it's really Gidas, Gidas, Gidas result in, for, for this case. Uh, and then I want to, what happened in another case, maybe not with that detail. So the conjecture for Pucci operator, I don't want to mention what's the Pucci operator, let's say as a, a inf of linear operator, a sub of linear operator. Uh, then the conjecture was P, uh, this is the critical exponent. When, when, when this is a dimension like numbers that appear with the fundamental solution, right? That was the conjecture. Actually, the Gidas, Gidas uh, result was, was known with, without these two. So the, 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 for the extremal operator, this was the conjecture. And, and then, actually, uh, uh, I, I was trying to prove this conjecture. And then at the end, I, I just in the radial case, uh, a, a long time ago, uh, with Patricio Felmer, we established that the critical exponent, so where the bubble solution exists, or a solution that decays fast as the fundamental solution, is really less than the, this number. So it's bigger than the Gita's exponent, and bigger actually than the crit really crit critical for, for for the Laplacian, but is below this number. Somehow, uh, now, that, now there is a group working on, on that again in, in Rome, but, but I won't not mention into that. I just want, because concentration phenomena happen, there are many results related now with this, but I, I don't, I, I would just mention that this, so this means that the, the, the first type of result, that means that the critical exponent is not, really uh, so stable, the, the other one. You change the operator and the, 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 there is no. So what happened in the no radial case is really open. Uh, yes. Uh, because this, this existing and non-existing results, so you don't have existing, you have you build type theorem just for radial solution. And that's the problem. Just the non-existent is just for radial solution. So the, 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 the point here, one, which is the u type term, only holds for radial solution. So for no radial solution, is the, the, the problem is solved. Of course, existence, if you have existence of radial solution, the existence is it, solved. Anyway, I want to now go into the power case, of course, and discuss what happened in the power case just yes, for the Laplacian and then go into the fractional Laplacian. Uh, uh, the, the, the very uh, 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 easy remark, let's say, of a paper by Dancer Du and Wu uh, 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 says that this somehow also related with Hardy inequality, uh, of course, which is somehow related with the power two here, uh, uh, is that the alpha exponent cannot be uh, that negative, let's say. Uh, so it's, you, in, in a, in a proof check ball, you don't have solution for that. So, so alpha, the, the assumption, natural assumption is that this number alpha bigger than the, this minus two. That's, that's a first thing to, to notice. And uh, of course, uh, the, 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 there is, uh, some conjecture around this, which is uh, if alpha is bigger than uh, two, uh, and and this exponent is below than so the, the the alpha change here putting in a two alpha in the in the uh, above let's say in the critical exponent that's the change it, the, the 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 equation here with the, this alpha introduced into the critical exponent so you have the the classical one plus these two up. So the, 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 the conjecture is no solution. So that, that's the conjecture. It's more or less solved, I think. Uh, um, so it's not really a conjecture now, but 
was a conjecture uh, uh, because the, the, there was uh, a work by Bianchi uh, alpha for alpha uh, negative, which doing moving planes proving non-existent, and then uh, uh, the Veroni and Giacomoni also prove uh, the radial symmetry of all solution in, in alpha negative, and, and, and Bianchi in the same paper uh, prove. I will. I, go here uh, uh, more fast, but not mention all the works. There, 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 there was somehow first uh, uh, by Bianchi here doing moving planes, the, the, the exponent had the just alpha there, and this was a, a, a previous result by Midideri with, the, with, the, the, with the super solution result and this kind of thing. And then Pang uh, and Suple with Dimension one and the solution is bounded. Prove this, this really this conjecture, and then uh, uh, at the end, Garcia Melian uh, proved it in general. So, what happened in the existence? In the existence, of course, at the critical, there is a a, a bump, which is I will mention the the, the authors later, leap and, and so on. Leap loss and other other ones, but but at the critical exponent, you you have the bubble just changing these two alpha there, so you have really a bubble depending on alpha, and this is very explicit. What happened? Uh, another reason uh, reason why this is just uh, interesting now is that somehow not that stable in the non equation. Uh, the critical exponent is because you have uh, uh, so the the, the there is no characterization or the uniqueness result up to scaling you have uniqueness because there is a word by Galilea, Grossi, and Neves that no readily symmetric solution exists when alpha is positive. So uh, so no no there is no possibility to 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 make the the classification and the conjecture, of course, was uh, for for alpha negative. Can you really uh, classify all solution? Are they all radial? Dolbo, uh, Esteban, uh, and Loss prove it with some extra condition. So, L N L one theories, let's say, because they need that the right hand side. In, in a weak sense is in L1, and then in the same paper, Garcia Melian uh, proved it in general. So this is more or less the review. Uh, 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 and now I want to consider really uh, the fractional case. Uh, so what's is known for the fractional case is uh, for the UV type theorem for alpha positive, then uh, somehow you get the Bianchi's result, the same Bianchi's result. So here, without the two in this exponent, this is those two. And then uh, uh, a Uville type theorem uh, using uh, the stability of the solution and using the extension. And then uh, the, the, there is a, a work also by Sire and Wei uh, in a ball. And, and, and a classification even for the spectral fractional Laplacian and the fractional Laplacian. I, I don't want to go into this, that details. Good, so what's the, the Uville type theorem we join with uh, Begonia uh, is that uh, really the, this is the critical exponent. So if P is less then uh, this number, which is the critical exponent with the two alpha, the critical exponent related to S, of course, you need to change the, the, the two by two S, let's say, and the alpha stays the same, then this is the critical exponent really for the fractional equation. Uh, so the problem has not a positive solution. So this classification in, in the classical 
is, is good to mention, which is related with the Yamada problem and so on. Also, it, it's already studied in, in the case alpha uh, equal to zero uh, uh, by chain Leo uh, 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 and at, at the critical case when alpha is zero. This is no. So the for the Gidas uh, the it has a spread result it is, is, is done there, the non-existent. So, um, so you have a, you can somehow uh, represent a solution in, in, in an integral form, uh, inverting the operator, uh, 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 and then with that you can uh, uh, prove that for alpha less than 2s you don't have bounded solution. So that's, uh, of course, so the restriction is, is re the two is replaced by two is the restriction of the, of the, the, the dancer in who result that I mentioned before. So uh, uh, what we will do in the proof of the non-existent result, we will use a uh, Kelvin transform. So we, 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 so it's known that the Kelvin transform works or have a right equation for the fractional Laplacian. So you, you, you put it and you, as always, you, you, you will use moving spheres. Uh, that's, the, that, that, that's the proof somehow. Using Kelvin transform and moving spheres, of course, you need to have a sort of a maximum principle in narrow domain, but this is the proof. I mean, it's, it's a, a classical, let's say, uh, 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 it, it, it has taken this details, but it's the classical moving sphere techniques with the Kelvin transform. So with the, you define double V lambda, which is U lambda minus U, and the, this is the, the maximum principle with a, a narrow domains. Uh, uh, Use uh, also by two by, by some authors before in a version we, we, we adapt a version of the of them here uh, uh, which is with with some symmetry so it's a, a narrow domain with some symmetry that the double B enjoys because uh, uh, this is the the, the, the the point but but with that symmetry you have this sort of, of, of maximum principle in narrow domain and then of course you 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 can start moving planes you prove that. The first step is you can start moving planes and then you define as classical the supremum of the moving plane. So uh, the, the supremum where you can uh, go with the, with, so that double B is positive, right? That's what the, the difference between two. So this is the supremum. And then of course, if, if the, the, you, if you assume that this number is finite, then you will reach a contradiction. How more or less you do a little del delta, uh, smaller delta, then you, you, you in, inside by the strong maximum principle is positive, and then you can go a little further with the with the, the uh, lambda tilde. So you get a a, a little. Uh, this is. So here is positive, and then you here this is narrow. So so delta zero is small, which is this distance, and with this is narrow, then you get a contradiction with the definition of the lambda. This is moving spheres somehow in my picture. Uh, so what happened uh, if if lambda what, uh, you get a contradiction if, if lambda is it's it's. Uh, uh, it's finite, it, in, if it's finite, somehow you rescale, and if you can rescale because you have a factor rescaling, and then you rescale the equation, and you get a contradiction somehow with the definition of, the, of uh, an eigenvalue problem. Yeah, here, uh, rescaling, but I mean, I, I don't would want to do the de details, but here you can somehow rescale with that, compare with that very large behavior, and then you put it into equation and this contradicts uh, 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 eigenvalue problem in above. So, 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 so that, that's, that's it, so.
Um, what about uh, existence at the critical exponent? So existence at the critical exponent, this is the equation. Uh, uh, some some, some, some uh, no results are the, the following. If alpha is negative, in the case alpha is negative, there is a solution rather really symmetric and decreasing. Uh, and also, they, 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 they also prove that they, uh, with, there, there are two reasons around that. And they have a decay, which is not optimal because they don't decay like the fundamental solution. So they, they proved that. So this was the known results for alpha, just for alpha and negative. Of course, bigger than 2s, but I want all the time bigger than 2s, but, but I don't mention that. So just uh, a, a little, little uh, summary of what we, 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 we are discussing because we are in the bubble, right? If you are in the bubble, of course you have the no, no radial solution, but at the radial, so radial things, you know the caffarelli gidea sprague which is this solution, and, and just taking lambda equal to one, and the leap in gidea and sprague also, what happened with alpha there, the, 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 this, and of course there is a, a classical result uh, by leap using using uh, Kelvin, uh, Fourier transform. So if you used Fourier transform for a function like this, you have an explicit formula and then you can compute that the bubble is what is the bubble, let's say, we change it just this number by 2s. This is uh, Kelvin uh, um, transform properties, let's say. So what the question is, what happened? Can you, you cannot do this computation easily, like in what you can say in the case alpha uh, difference of C. So this is the, the, the uh, and what we do is just uh, a, a, a classical thing, which is, not for the fractional ablation, but 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 but, 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 but for physicists, uh, but, uh, this was well transform. So so you you you, ch you change a variable, you get, let's say somehow what what you get when you when when you have the ODE let's say radial ODE, you change the, in the classical case, you change, you do the end of the variables and you get a dynamical system, a second order dynamical system. So here we want to do a, a, an analogous thing. This is not an original idea, this is, a, I don't know, I don't know if I'll mention later, but, but this, this is already appeared in a paper, Maria del Mar, a way, uh, Manuel del Pino. So, but, but doing this for, 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 for another uh, uh, a conformal thing related with but the, 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 the idea is there. So, we study periodic solution that, that for, for, for this problem. So, uh, you do the end of the transformation and what you get somehow is, uh, uh, I was too, 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 too quick, you, you do the exponential change here and you get, this is the red thing here is a sort of, um, it is a, 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 a end folder, no local version of the end folder change of variables. So this is not second derivative, this is a local, operator but the local operator is is defined like this where the kernel is one dimensional so so it's undecay exponential at infinity so it's not really a fractional laplacian local in the singularity is like the fractional laplacian and and, and it, at infinity is because of this change is decay decay very rapidly 
So it's well, more localized, let's say. Operator, but still not local, and, and, and this is the equation. Uh, so the, 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 the thing is what we do with this equation, how to prove existence of that equation. Of course, you, uh, what you do in, 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 when you have a second order equation, you use the dynamic assistance tools, you define energy, the energy is constant, and then you integrate the equation and you get the solution. But here you don't can you got, cannot do that, uh, and, and so how how to prove existence? Uh, we we prove existence using let's say a um, variation approach, which which needs that the this exponential is supercritical in dimension one, let's say because we are in dimension one. So that's a, a, a restriction we need. We don't know how to, to do better uh, because we need to, because I will mention the result, but this is the existence part. And we also prove good bounds for B. We make uh, I learned infinity estimate, then uh, 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 you have regularity of the solution. So the solution must decay, and then you use that you can compute explicitly a, fun a power function. Uh, this, this is by, by now well known for a power function. You can compute and this somehow traducing this into the MD4 variables uh, 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 leads to the good function to compare with. So, and here is the result. So, so if if S is in between one half and one, then you have existence for all, for, for all alpha, but if alpha, is, but if alpha is positive, uh, we need this condition. What's the condition? I mean, the, if alpha is, alpha is positive or we are in between these two number, uh, so here, if S is less than one half, you are in the regimen where you have critical exponent because this is the critical exponent. So you need that the alpha here, the alpha which is uh, uh, needs to be uh, bounded. So we cannot go for too big alpha in this region. So this, so in this region you have all alpha, and here we have a restriction on alpha. Why this? Because here you, you need that somehow the problem where we, we use energy method. Uh, we, I don't know where I have the problem. This is the problem here, where I have good energy method. I need that this exponent is subcritical, and doing this computation needs leads to the restriction. I don't know how to do bigger. It should exist for bigger, but but the, the method we use is that. And then in the the other regimen, you, we, you can really prove our existence of in in for alpha negative in all ranges, which is was already known. So this is not that. And then the the in all cases you have the right decay. Uh, so what about uh, what? This will be solved with this uh, uh, join with uh, Alarcon and Barrios. Also, we 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 because uh, uh, there are two questions related to that. We, because we, when when you need to do consultation methods, you need that the solution is not the general. Uh, and the, the other question, more natural, what we are discussing now is what about the uniqueness of the solution you get. So the, this is a, a, an ongoing work, but the idea is what, uh, some idea uh, 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 developed by Frank and Lestman, and Sylvester Frank and Lestman, uh, Schrodinger equation, uniqueness for Schrodinger So we, is a shredding but, but, but there has some restriction what I mentioned before
very easy. Somehow, uh, you, you want to linearize the operator, linearize the operator, and then to study. Hola, perdón. I'm sorry. Uh, it was stop. Sí, Alex. Se cayó. Sí, comparte tu, tu pantalla. Ahí te comparto de vuelta, Alex. Espera, porque me parece que te tengo de vuelta. Ah, no, estás, estás como cojos. Sí, puedes compartir. Ya. Se volvió acá. Ahí. Ahí, no sé, yo veo todo negro ahora. No sé si lo demás ven algo. Ahí está. Ahí sí, 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 ya está. Where, where, where I stopped, I, I didn't get where I, I was just out of the system, so, so I didn't get where, where I was. <laughs> I was discussing the uniqueness, right? Sí, empieza ahí. Yes, yes. So, uh, so... Uh, let's uh, talk about uniqueness. So uniqueness, the idea is to use the result by Sylvester Frank and Lessenman and Frank and Lessenman in dimension one. So, so what's the idea is uh, somehow uh, linear is the operator and then you need to study uh, Schrodinger operators, even singular uh, Schrodinger operator uh, uh, or singular eigenvalue problems uh, with Hardy type uh, 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 whites. That's uh, uh, and where you to get the, the the nodal bounds, which is you use the extension and you knew it for the extension current principle. So so it's really for the fractional thing. So 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 the idea is to use current principle for the extension which works, which is in this paper. But the different is uh, that, that that's uh, a nice thing because the, you have to prove that somehow you have some non-degeneracy and, and to prove this non-degeneracy, you need to have some good solution, let's say, of your linearized equation. Uh, 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 and the good solution in the case of the Schrodinger equation is uh, just a uh, uh, differentiating the equation with respect to some scale. But here, what we do is actually uh, uh, proving that at the critical exponent, we use the derivative of the equation with respect to p. I just mentioned that because this is I, I, what I like of this, this. This idea is the idea I used in the paper I mentioned in the direction in 2003. Uh, uh, for the uniqueness of this critical exponent, which was not explicit. So, so the same idea, it's, it's, it's here. The, somehow you get a linearized equation, and this linearized equation it, with a right-hand side, of course, but this right-hand side, you can control it uh, with, the, with the solution itself, and, and, and then somehow you get the node degenerate, which, which means that, the, let's say, uh, if you have you are in dimension one, right? If you have in dimension one, this says that the solution of this nearest equation don't have is just u prime. U prime is a solution of the linear equation, but you need to prove that this is the unique solution of that problem. And this is the problem: uh, how to prove the uniqueness of this. A, a solution and then produce some solution of the non-homogeneous equation. But, 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 but this is the, just the idea behind. Uh, and the other thing is what then you can prove uniqueness for solution of Morgan index one. And that's the idea of Frankman Silvestre also, which is 
uh, what do you do? You do, uh, uh, since you have no degeneracy of your solution, you can continue by implicit functional theorem, they branch up to S equal to one, where you, you have uniqueness of radio solution. The, the uniqueness is just for radio solution. Of course, it is open. Maybe there is no radio solution, of course, as Rossi and others uh, uh, result. So, but, but by the, let, let's continue. So you make Omoto be uh, S, so you have a, a branch. What happens if the two branch, uh, 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 if you suppose by contradiction that you have another solution, you can, can, can construct also a branch. And what happened? Since at the Laplace and the branch are, is unique, they just need to touch before. And then you analyze, analyze this point and by the know the degeneracy, again, you use implicit function theorem and this is local unique. So, so, so that's the idea. Uh, so, so it's an onomotopy argument uh, 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 up to S equal to one where you know unique. So that, that, that's what I want to talk, thank you. Thank you very much, Alexander, for the very nice talk. Uh, questions or comments to Quas? So I, I have a question. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes. yes. OK. So do you know, are there any results uh, for like uh, non-uniformly elliptic operators? Uh, or, or is there any hope to get any, any of this type of result for, say, either the P Laplacian type oper operators or non-divergence. I'm, I'm finished a paper with Leandro on that. Uh, and we have some progress. We can talk about fundamental solution and so on, but, but uh, we need to try, uh, write it down. So we have some progress, but yes, it's yes. Uh, uh, and there is uh, some bubble in this kind of thing. There is uh, another work. I mean, it depends what, what, what type of result. At the critical, there is some, there are results, let's say. Uh, yeah. At the critical, uh, there are results exactly at the critical for the uh, P fractional Laplacian, there are some results by, by, by Sunduri in Italy. I don't remember exactly the names. Uh, and I have an ongoing work with Leandro around uh, fundamental solution and GIDAS type result on that and, and so on. So, so there, there is some, some advances, but the, I think the problem has many, many other points. I mean, like go, putting a white or, or, or even proving the non-existing uh, non result, I think there, is, there are open questions. Thank you. More questions or comments? I have a question. Do you prove existence and the existence, no existence in Liouville type results, but can you prove a sharp regularity? In other words, uh, how regular solutions, how regular solutions are? Uh, so the, the, yeah, the, the solution somehow, it may be in the, in the, in the in, I don't know where I put the theorem, but anyway, the solution, uh, the solution that I construct uh, has, are, are in the region you have maybe C1 regularity, just C1, but uh, uh, beside that, or even less, because in the region, for the non-equation I'm talking about, uh, because the singularity introduced some, some maybe some, some, some problem, but uh, uh, away from the region you have uh, say infinity regularity, for, so you can bootstrap, you know. So, so, so the problem I, I, I would, uh, of regularity, you have a, 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 a if I put a, the third, no, no, uh, the existing result is, yeah, I say infinity, but then you need to translate. I didn't translate because here I just put, here is the regularity. Well, so in, in, in the case alpha, you have, 
alpha is positive, you have an infinity intersect infinity solution. And if not, you have H alpha log inter C alpha minus zero because of course it's L infinity that you have the you lose somehow regularity in the origin if alpha is negative. So if this is the regularity uh, I was looking, but uh, I was confused in the, in the PDF. But, but this is the regularity. Thank you, Alexander. If not, uh, uh, more questions, then thank you, Alex, again.